it's always been a dream to kind of move to La Union and cook. That's always kind of wish that we had. We have a beach a beachfront area, so very chill, parang homey. Yun naman din yung gusto namin na encourage sa mga guests namin. Through this research that we discovered that sea turtles actually nested in this area. So that we basically were able to create a sustainable model of conservation here in uh, La Union. Every farm needs to have a sustainable system in place. But really, for many of us, everything that we do is connected to nature. But yet we have very little understanding of what the Earth's about and what it gives us. La Union is known for its beautiful beaches, earning the title of the surfing capital of the North. Earlier this year, the SPOT team went to visit La Union to take in what it has to offer. It's a destination we've been wanting to visit for a while, so when we found an opportunity with our sponsor Hyundai and our hotel partner The Lark, we couldn't say no. Now when we shoot in destinations like these, we usually do an itinerary type video like what we've done in locations like Bacolod, Bohol, and Pampanga, among others, and at first, we had planned the same for La Union. La Union's proximity to Metro Manila makes it the perfect getaway for a long weekend. So we're starting our trip with a five-hour drive to San Juan in La Union, where our adventure awaits. What we found was different. Away from the surf and the parties, LU is known for the people and the community. Every step of the way, we had conversations with individuals who bring La Union to life. Like Carlos Tamayo, Operations Director of Project Kurma a sea turtle conservation program and the first stop of our trip. Project Ormad is a sea turtle conservation effort, you know, based here in La Union. This is our, where we first started it. Uh, previously, this area had a lot of poaching, you know, sea turtle eggs, and the sea turtles themselves were being poached. So basically, we created this project to protect them. So we run a sea turtle hatchery where we safeguard the nests until such time as uh, they emerged, and then we released them in the same area they were found. Nice, and today we'll be releasing one of the turtles that, you, that you've been nursing, is that correct? Yes, we have a critically endangered Hawksbill sea turtle. This was accidentally caught in a fishing net nearby, and it's been under rehabilitation, and this afternoon, you now she's ready to head back to the ocean. The sea turtle release was not until our second day, so after our chat with Carlos, we headed to get lunch at a popular local spot known as Clean Beach. So we're having lunch at a coffee shop turned restaurant whose main advocacy is to keep the beach clean. Clean Beach, as the name suggests, is a beachside bar and restaurant that aims to take care of the surroundings. Over the feast that they had prepared for us, we had the chance to chat with Alyssa, the operations manager of Clean Beach. Sa Clean Beach, what we offer is uh, meron kaming coffee and then meron din kaming cocktails. One of our advocacy then is yung beach cleanup so they could uh, not just dine, pero experience yung what we're protecting then yung beach. So this is our home. Take good care of our home. Aside from the outdoor alfresco style na we have a beach a beachfront area, so very chill na parang away from the Manila. I mean yung sa side ng Manila. So eto naman parang homey. Yun naman din yung gusto namin na i encourage sa mga guests namin. We also got to talk with their chef, co-founders, and operations head about Clean Beach and their products, advocacies, and the community that they built. And if you want to know more about that, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the full feature coming soon to Spot.ph. After relaxing by Clean Beaches, Clean Beaches, we were invited by Toby Tamay to talk about the sustainable model of farm stays he's been building around La Union. I learned a lot more through their cultural practices that, are, that have been embedded for so long as far as appreciation of the natural system is concerned. If you want the nutritious food, you need fertile soil. You need non-toxic soil. You need non-toxic uh, air. So I'm trying to make sure that we show models. The Hilom Farm is a model. It started almost three years now. The way I count the years is based on the rainy season. My friend, Kerwin, who owns the place, loved what he was going through, a whole change from the pace of being a businessman and going to the farm and getting to chill you know, and relax. So having 
models like the Helam Farm is a good, good showcase for others to follow. You can be growing your food, you can actually live there, yeah, and not just go there on the weekends. They have a farm place to chill, work in the city. That's also okay. But what to do when you have a farm? Kadalasan kasi, naisip natin, agriculture kagabi. But really, when you, when you come up with a whole agroforest system, the trees we selected are meant to grow by the river. So it creates its own microclimate. There was a lot more to talk about in terms of agroforestry than we had time for in this video. So from there, we headed back for dinner at the Lark before the adventures of the next day. Our day two started in a very special way. As has become norm in this trip, we experienced something a little bit unexpected, ramen by the beach. An idea so crazy it just about works. And we got to talk to the man who came up with the idea. Hello, my name is Enrique De Joss. I am the chef owner of Ramen Enrique, the ramen shop uh, located inside Mona Lisa Surf Resort in Urbiston de la Union. Why ramen in the first place? Why did you put up? A, why decide you put to put up a ramen shop here in, in La, Union? La Union? It was an accident, because um, well, first my me and my entire family we uh, love Japanese food and culture. Uh, I started to look on YouTube for recipes how to make ramen, and I saw this video. It's like, 15 minute tantan men just tastes just like the real thing. It did not taste like the real thing. <laughs> So since all, I had so much time, I started researching. I saw some ramen chefs uh, on Instagram and YouTube, and I would message them, and I would ask them tips, and they would sh uh, share their knowledge. It was, a, it was really fun, and it's the nerdiest food in the world, so, so it, it suits my personality. And you can enjoy ramen by the sea. Who knew hot ramen by the sea works? It's elegant in its simplicity, and if you want to know more about that, check out the full feature on Ramen Rike available on our channel right now. And now that we've been fueled up, we got a chance to experience some of the other adventures in La Union. One of the nice things about the Lark is that it's a bike-friendly inn. If you own a bike or are renting for the day, once in a while they have community bike tours, so that's what we're doing today. Though known for the surfing scene, among the community, biking is also a big thing in La Union both as a mode of transportation and as a form of leisure. For some visitors, it might be a bit of a hassle to bring your own bike to the seaside province. And this is where geezers come to. Hi, I'm si Aurel. Hi, I'm si Tep. And uh, we own Geezer's Bike Shop. Nakita lang na may market nung pandemic kasi galing din ako ng California to now for eight years. Tapos, pero dito talaga ako sa La Union, born and raised. Tapos nakita ko din na lumalaki din yung bike scene. So parang gusto namin na to be able to cater din sa mga tao dito. Kailangan na ng service, ng parts. Uh, usually mga mountain bikers yung ano, nagbabike dito. Kasi maraming bundok. So umakit sila ng bundok. Kunwari sa Baguio, papunta rin uh, Luna. Nagbo-bike sila. Um, Ilocos. Ilocos. So, yun naman yung hindi rin nawawala dito sa La Union. Uh, kaya gusto lang namin ituloy yun. Riding through the quiet countryside is both exhilarating and relaxing. Something that describes La Union very well. We rode for about an hour with our videographer close behind in the Hyundai Stargazer before we headed to Port San Juan, a food market by the highway, for a quick bite. We were able to try Indian cuisine at Bebo's Bombay Burritos. I guess it's always been a dream to kind of move to La Union and cook. That's always kind of like um, this kind of wish that we had. And so, um, yeah, so we, we packed up. We packed Manila up and, and got a spot at Port San Juan and are excited to cook for everyone. Our kind of brand of Indian food um, is basically stuff that I cook for friends at home. 
and uh, we were thinking what would work at a beach town, you know. Um, and I remember as a child we would have merienda, and it, this, it would be this thing called the Frankie. I guess every culture has like a bit of food that's wrapped, at least our version of the Frankie. It's a wrap with meat, with the sauces. I think like we want to gift you with something you can walk away and just, you know, uh, eat anywhere. Again, full features are in the Spot.ph YouTube channel and the Credible. With dinner done, all that's left to do is return to Project Kurma and join them as they release the turtle they've been missing, with a community of friends and tourists gathered at sunset for this occasion. You know, right now you guys are on the main sea turtle nesting beach. This season, we released uh, close to 8,000 hatchlings back into the ocean. So, here we have Aurora, the Hawksbill sea turtle. You know, she was actually with us recently. She was found uh, weak and was turned over by a fisher folk. And we actually rehabilitated her and released her. And then, just last week, she was caught by a fishing net, you know, accidentally. So sea turtles, they are called a keystone species, which means they're very important to the ocean ecosystem. So if we lose them, we are going to lose many other species. And here in La Union, we're lucky to have sea turtles. You know, it's a big opportunity to protect them and also a big responsibility. So uh, with that, are you guys ready to release Aurora? It'll be nice to see her at one point, but hopefully uh, on better terms. So Aurora is a young sea turtle. She's gonna get much bigger. Being in the middle of the crowd in this moment made me realize everything that Lonyan is and the identity it has created for itself more than anything is the work of the people. Individuals have brought their passion to this artisanal town, a lot of them uprooting their lives in the bustling metro and bringing their craft here, finding a home, forming a community, and giving a place its identity. So we have what we call sea turtle mentality or Pawican mentality which is Tulungan, you know, helping each other supposed to crab mentality. So sea turtles, the way they emerge from the nest, they are underneath the ground, about two feet. And for a sea turtle, they're very small. And the way they actually emerge from the ground is to help each other up. So we can take inspiration from this, that you know, if we help each other for a common goal, then we can actually achieve great things like sea turtles do. So you know, sea turtle mentality, let's help each other.